Hey guys, so we're in October, so 2020 is just coming up at the corner, and Marvel just put out all the new books that are coming out in January, so you know what to, you know, what you got to pre-order, what you got to look forward to, and what you got, you know, to stay the hell away from. So in this video, I'm going to try to do my best and jump into that, because man, there's a crap ton of books coming out. So, let's check it out. Alright, to start off, we got Thor number one coming out, with Donny Cates taking over, writing this book, and you know, as they talked about in New York Comic Con, so, you know, there's a bunch of people looking forward to this, and hey, I'm going to be picking up an issue too, and it looks like issue two is coming out in january too so it looks like it's gonna be a bi-weekly book so hey it's gonna be a pretty quick book and then it looks like we're gonna have guardians of the galaxy number one because you know marvel we love our number ones with al hewing taking it over and hey man al hewing he's been killing that immortal hulk book so i'm pretty sure he's gonna do some pretty cool stuff with his guardians then it looks like the second issue is gonna come out for this book revenge of the cosmic ghost rider with i'm assuming issue number one dropping in sometime in december which i wasn't too much a fan of the last cosmic ghost rider destroys the marvel history universe or something like that some crazy title i wasn't that big of a fan of this so i'm not too sure if i'm gonna pick this one up but hey that cover looks pretty sweet and then we're gonna get iron man 2020 which looks pretty cool and there's going to be like connecting variants for this. So, you know, there's always that market of people who love their connecting variants. Because you, you got to get the whole set, man, because it looks really cool. And then we're going to get Frank Terry doing the Ruins of Ravencroft. Ravencroft. Carnageized. So this has to do with like the aftermath of Absolute Carnage. So if you've been reading that series so far, hey, this might be a book that you're going to want to read. Then we're also going to get the Ruins of Ravencroft. Sabretooth, issue number one. Man, why do I have such a hard time saying Ravencroft? Which is another 40-page one-shot, if I didn't make that clear in the last one. They're both going to be one-shot issues. And hey, this Sabretooth cover looks crazy because it looks like Wolverine. And then we're going to get another Ravencroft one-shot. Ravencroft one-shot with Dracula. And I guess those one-shots are going to lead into a, a little mini series of one to five issues of Ravencroft with these all being written by Frank Terry and don't worry there's gonna be a Marvel Tales for Ravencroft you know a little 80 page book for you which is only gonna be like eight bucks so you know you got plenty to look forward to and then we're gonna get a plethora of true believers which I can't even name them there's so many damn books coming out but we are gonna get Eric Larson writing and doing the artwork for Captain America the end which issue number one drops in January so that's pretty cool but I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be a one shot we also have a Deadpool the end coming out which is also gonna be a one shot but this is gonna be written by Joe Kelly and let's not leave out Captain Marvel because we got Captain Marvel the end also which is also another one shot with this cover looking freaking beautiful man this is when i'm gonna pre-order because i'm not sure if i'm gonna find this one in the store and you know we got miles morales the end number one you know this one shot book and these are all gonna be 40 page books uh, priced around what 4.99 for five, five bucks we're also gonna get the venom the end two and doctor strange the end just to speed that up we're gonna get a bunch of the end books so this actually might be something cool i know a lot of people aren't gonna be into these tie-in books or these one kind of one shot books here and there all over the place especially with so many one shot let me know in the comments in the comments down below what do you think about all these crazy 40 page one shots coming out in january that kind of maybe we're all gonna tie in together are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna really pick all these up or are you gonna wait for the trade to come out and just binge read the whole thing that sounds like something more more easy and enjoyable for me but this Doctor Strange cover, I, uh, I don't even read Doctor Strange, and I want this damn cover, because, man, that looks good. And then we had Captain Marvel 8 come out this year with, what, the first appearance of Star, and now Star's getting her first mini, you know, a little five-issue little five issue miniseries written by Kelly Thompson, which I'm still saying, hey, in that Captain Marvel run, I think she appears in the first issue, so I think that might be a sleeper one, and not too many people are talking about it. I know the comic jabroni did a video on it, so if you want, go to his channel and check that out. That should be cool. All right, now we're going to get Marvel's X number one, which is going to be a six-part miniseries written by Alex Ross and Jim Kruger with art by Will B and the covers by Alex Ross because freaking Alex Ross, dude. And then we're going to have X-Men number five, the Jonathan Hickman book that just started, what, a couple weeks ago, and it's going to continue on until early of next year. They're actually showing two X-Men books coming out in January, so I wasn't, I wasn't from, this is going to be a bi-weekly, a bi-weekly book, so that's pretty cool. This actually issue number six with Mystique with, with the two, yeah, dude, I want that. And then we're also going to get New Mutants issue number five, followed by issue number six. So I guess they're going to be like one week, one week, one week, one week, which makes perfect sense. Which I'm not the biggest X-Men fan. Don't get me wrong. I love the animated series and stuff like that, but I just couldn't get into X-Men right now. But hey, man, these covers look freaking amazing. And then we're going to get Marduras issues five and six, which Marduras just came out the week before Halloween. And everybody liked that book, especially the one with what, Kitty Pryde. And she had tattoos on her knuckles. And hey, I heard really good things about that book. We're also going to get X-Force issues five and six. Excalibur five and six with man. <laughs> look at this cover, dude. Fallen Angels five and six. <laughs> and where are all my Americans at? Because we got this Weapon Plus World War, what, 4, issue number 1? God damn, look at this. This this, this cover screams America. You know what I'm saying? And now they're actually going to revitalize this classic tale of Wolverine versus uh, Sabretooth. 
But they're going to throw some 3D glasses in there and make the book 3D. And I think that's pretty damn cool. But it's only going to be 32 pages and it's priced at $8. So I'm like, ugh. That seems like a lot for something that's just kind of cool. It's probably going to be poly bagged, and then I probably won't even open the poly bag. So I'm going to have to buy two just because I want to throw the glasses on. It's probably going to give me a headache. I don't know, man. 16 bucks for two books seems like a lot. And then we're going to get another Spider-Man miniseries, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Daily Bugle. Another miniseries of Avengers of the Wasteland. And then we got Alan Davis doing a four-part miniseries of Tarot, or is it Tarot? One of those things. Yeah, it's like a potato potato. And this looks to be like it's going to be a bi-weekly book as well. And where are my Jessica Jones fans at? Because we got a six-part miniseries coming out with, you know, it's going to be a bi-weekly book too. And it looks freaking cool, man. Look at that cover, dude. I'm digging that. Avengers 29 with Jason Aaron on it. And then Avengers 30 with this crazy Michael Suyan. I think that's his name. I'm pretty sure that's the same guy that I met here at my local comic shop, but I'm not too sure, man. I'm sorry if I'm getting that mistaken. But this cover looks freaking crazy cool, dude. Like, I'm just going to hold that for a second. Look at this damn cover, dude. It doesn't look yeah, I'm gonna get that, man. It's a pre-order book, man. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get a five-part mini-series of Hawkeye. It's gonna be released bi-weekly. Another five-part mini-series, which is gonna be released, I, I'm assuming, month to month, called Atlantis Attacks, written by my man Greg Pat, which I highly recommend you go back and read his Hulk Vereens. It's just three-issue mini-series. of freaking awesome. And then we got Al Hewing doing Immortal Hulk 29, man. I, I heard he's been killing it. I know there's a lot of controversy with issue 25 that just came out, but hey, man, you know, everyone's gonna keep buying it. Okay, now I'm freaking interested. We got Tom Taylor doing Immortal Hulk, Great Power number one. Hmm. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. I like, I like Tom Taylor a lot, dude. So I, I might gravitate towards this. I might re I might go in and, and pre-order my first Hulk book, my Immortal Hulk book. Oh, man. I guarantee nobody's gonna watch this far into the video and everyone's gonna miss out on this greatness that's about to happen. And then we also have Immortal Hulk issue 30, which that cover looks freaking bananas. Cool, man. I put this picture on my Instagram. Go check out my Instagram, at Perry underscore comics, man. Everybody loved this damn picture. And then we're going to get Captain America issue 18 with another fire cover, dude. I'm sorry, man. Hey, Marvel's doing a great damn job for January. Way to start the year with a freaking punch, dude. Hey, and you know that means something. Come from someone who does not like Marvel. Not that I don't like Marvel. I just don't gravitate towards a lot of Marvel books. I kind of skew more indie nowadays. But hey, man, something this year, like at the tail end of the year, is like pulling me this way into Marvel, man. Marvel's getting their shit together. All right, we're going to get this Savage Avengers issue number nine. Which, when did issue number one start? It had to have started already. I'm not sure. Let me know. When did issue number one come out? Which is pretty cool because this is going to be like the quest to kill Null, which I think is that, that guy from the Silver Surfer book. So, pretty cool. All right, and then a book that I think is going to start in November because issue three comes out in January is going to be the Punisher Soviet. I mean, Paulo Rivera. I hope Rivera did a great job on this cover, dude, because this is selling the book for me. Hey, comment down below. <laughs> Doesn't that guy in the front like this? Don't he look like Daredevil? <laughs> All right, then we're going to get Strike Force issue number five, Captain Marvel issue number 14, the conclusion of the Web of Black Widow, and then a prelude to Marvel's Black Widow. So it's going to be like a glimpse into the film or maybe what the film's about. I don't know. We're going to read it to check it out. A book I'm excited for, freaking Ghost Rider issue number four, man. I, when does issue two come out already, man? This, this should have been a bi-weekly book because I need more Ghost Rider in my life. We got Black Black Panther issue number 20, Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda issue number 5, Fantastic Four issue 18, Deadpool issue number 3, Valkyrie Jane Foster issue number 7, which I, I hear is a sleeper book that's freaking, it's a great read. We're going to get Morbius issue number 3, Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality issue number 2 with issue number 1 dropping in December. Which is going to be like a five-part miniseries. Same thing with Spider-Ham or Spider-Ham. Yeah, Spider-Ham issue number two is dropping in January with issue one dropping in December. All right, we're going to get the Web of Venom, the good son, number one. And the quote under it says, when Venom's away, the children shall play. And then, of course, Donny Cates on Venom issue number 22. Scream, Curse of Carnage issue number three. Black Cat issue number eight. Let me know. Is anyone reading Black Cat still? Because I heard there was not a lot of buzz around the first couple issues and it started turning into a cover buy. Ghost Spider issue number six. The conclusion to the five part mini series of Spider Man, the five out of five. We're going to get The Amazing Spider Man issue 37. And issue number 38. We're going to get Spider Verse issue number four, which, hey, this is one of my, like, it's up there with Ghost Rider because I really enjoyed this. It's just a six part mini series with issue four coming out. But man, look at that cover, man. It's so damn good. All right, we're going to get The Amazing Mary Jane issue number four, which just came out this week. And I heard a lot of good things about it. But man, this cover just doesn't do it for me. Like, come on, dude. She's going to scream at him. What? He's gonna, he's just gonna, that's all he's gonna do, dude. Like, she's gone. Dude, what? She, you know, I mean, they made her breasts look nice. Miles Morales, Spider Man, issue number 14. And then the Gamers Verse for Marvel's Avengers Thor, number one. And the also for the Gamers Verse, Marvel's Spider Man, The Black Cat Strikes. Uh, it's gonna be a one out of five. Uh, both miniseries are gonna be one out of five. 
All right, The Magnificent Miss Marvel, issue number 11. We get Daredevil, issue 16. Runaways, issue 29. Yandu, issue number four, with number five being the conclusion. Jason Aaron doing this Conan the Barbarian, issue number 12, which I'm pretty sure he's doing the whole run. But man, this cover looks damn good, man. Now that he's not doing Thor, man, he probably is going to put a lot more time and effort into this. And we got Conan the Serpent War, issue number three, which I think issue number one comes out in November because it's a four-part mini. So I don't know how I feel about this one yet. We're going to get Star Wars 1 and 2, which is going to be like a, a two-parter one-shot. It's going to be a one-shot issue number one and then a one-shot number two. So it's like a two-parter. I don't know. They should have just made it an 80-page giant. All right, then we're also speaking of Star Wars. Star Wars The Rise of Kylo Ren, issue number two of four, which with all this Star Wars talk, everyone's going to be talking Star Wars, man. All right, guys, I hope you guys watched to the end. If you didn't, I don't feel too bad because, man, there's a lot of damn books coming out. Let me know what you're looking forward to. I know I got my eye on that Ghost Rider. There's a couple books I got my eye on, man. There's a lot of covers I got my eye on, too, man. And, hey, I got to hit them pre-orders up. I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that smash, that smash that like button. Hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.